for reaction on the pension reform analysis. We're joined by City San Diego City Council Member Carl DeMaio, who helped lead the pension reform campaign, and Congressman and San Diego mayoral candidate Bob Filner. He joins us by phone by, from Washington, D.C. Now, Congressman Filner is the only one of the top four mayoral candidates to oppose the measure. And I want to begin with you, first of all, Councilmember DeMaio. Now, the analysis states, first of all, in the 401k part of this initiative, that it actually won't save the city money over the next 30 years. It will cost the city, it will actually cost the city money. Your reaction? Well, the ballot measure as a whole saves billions of dollars, and the even adding as much watered-down analysis to the savings, the IBA confirms that it saves $960 million. Uh, we believe the 401k uh, actually will be saving money from day one. Every element of this ballot measure saves money. And the IBA took the worst case scenario. For example, she did not uh, uh, penalize uh, any of the vesting schedule that most corporations have of three years or five years. She started her vesting on day one. That's simply uh, very generous. Uh, right. Also, she assumes the maximum contributions and she assumes uh, no savings from investment losses in the defined benefit pension plan. So we believe that uh, it's uh, very conservative and understates the savings. Congressman Filner, I want you to get in on this conversation now. Now, you have opposed this measure all along. Your reaction to this analysis? Well, it shows, uh, one, that it cost uh, almost $100 million over the first five years for us to transition to a new system. And uh, the system itself is unfair because it says that employees who do not have Social Security are subject to the stock market casino. That's just wrong. But it doesn't save a nickel. The referendum itself does not save a nickel. All the savings are predicated on a pay raise of 0% for the next five years for employees. That is subject to uh, you know, negotiation with the employees. You, you cannot decide that in the referendum, and uh, it's doubtful that it'll ever be uh, you know, zero for five years in a row. So uh, it, it's, it's a fraud, if I could put it the most charitably. It doesn't save a nickel. It costs $100 million. It's unfair, and there are better ways uh, to get money into the general fund budget and save money. I want to toss this over to you, Councilmember DeMaio, but first of all, I want to read a statement from the San Diego City Attorney because it speaks to what the Congressman has just said. Now, this is from Jan Goldsmith, the San Diego City Attorney, in terms of his independent analysis on this ballot measure. Now, here's what he says. He says, the passage of the measure by itself does not automatically guarantee that employees' base compensation will be frozen for five years. Now, this is the part that, that saves the $963 million. The measure sets the city's initial bargaining position in labor negotiations with respect to employees' base compensation. However, these proposed terms can be overridden by a vote of at least six city council members. So do, this ballot measure, even if people say, yes, we're going to pass this, it doesn't mean that pensionable earnings will be frozen for five years. Well, certainly that is the solution that I have put on the table, is to cap pensionable pay for five years so that we can pay down the debt. The ballot measure has to comply with state labor law, which is why we allow for a supermajority override. But I will tell you this. The reason why I'm running for mayor and the reason why I'm supporting certain council candidates is so that we never are put in a position where politicians override the most important element of this ballot measure, which is capping pensionable pay. The measure also does two other important things that the IBA did not assess for cost savings. First, it requires full and fair contributions by city employees. They will have to pay their full legally allowable share, they and that, that now, saves $25 million a year. Second, now, we also the end Congressman pensions. Congressman says that you do that now. We also, we also end pension spiking, uh, which is where city employees add bonus pays, add-on pays, specialty pays to spike their pension. That's very costly, and yet the IBA did not include those savings in her assessment. But even with all those exclusions, it saves $960 million over the course of time, Seizing and that's important. So I want to toss this out to both of you now, and I'll let Congressman Filner go first, that even um, with this ballot measure, do you think that the voters are getting the information. I mean, in terms of this analysis, the $963 million, I think we've all agreed here that this is subject to negotiation, even if this ballot measure is passed. Do you think voters know what this ballot measure means? No, because uh, Mr. DeMaio and all those who uh, support it are not telling the truth. What occur well, for example, uh, all the horror stories that Mr. DeMaio raises about $250,000 pensions, these are all management employees who get phony pay raises their last year and bonuses. It spikes their pension to, uh, to twice sometimes what their salary is. They don't need a referendum to handle that. As first day of mayor, I will put a cap on 
pensions. No six-figure pensions. No six-figure pensions. We're, and, we're and running there's out only, of... there's only the management that has them anyway. The average trash collector and 911 operator gets about 27000 We're running so out of time. Yeah. I want you to have a chance to respond. Sure. Look, I've had to deal with this opposition for seven years. First, when I started shining a light on the pension crisis and uncovering it, they said there was no crisis. Don't believe him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Now, as we move forward and we figured out how to actually reform pensions and close down the pension system and pension spiking, uh, move to 401ks, they're still making the same tired false claims that it doesn't save money or that somehow it's not fair. This is important that San Diegans adopt this ballot measure so we can end our fiscal crisis and move forward. I want forward. to make sure we all have equal time. Congressman Filner, you've got 20 seconds, the last word. It doesn't do anything about the debt or our annual payment because this is for new hires. We probably won't have any new hires after they see the pension system, but he does nothing. This is, does nothing for the debt that we have or the annual payment. I have a plan which, in fact, does both. This is a fraud. I'm going to have to leave, you, leave it there. Congressman Filner, thank you so much. And Council Member Carl Tamayo, thanks thank for being here. Much.